Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to Arthanex Plays Modded Factorio. We are in the middle of setting up our logistics network. We're going to need a few more... ...of... ...these. And... Can make any more? Tin copper wire again. Is it iron or steel? Or other things that were getting that are getting delivered? Looks like it. I can go ahead and make two more. It's tin copper wire is the thing that I gotta keep an eye on for those. You need raw tin copper wire to pocket craft these and yeah, so those are so much, they start off so much faster and more efficient than the uh, <clears throat> than the other ones. Okay, so do I want to start setting up the Omni Station? I do want to because I'm going to need an Omni Station if I want to get more Bobmonium. Let's just take a quick look at solar panel production. So I usually use these, small solar panel mark two. Oh, we need silver to make those. All right, and the high capacity accumulator mark twos, which require lithium ion batteries. So that's the next major project. Now silver, we can get in a couple of different ways. We can get it from we can get it from this. Or we can just straight up refine it. Uh can we get it from Bobmonium? Bobmonium I think is just nickel. We set up a level to refining section for bobmonium will that give us silver? Wait, why am I going over here? I'm going the wrong way. I'm running around. Craft me like those. Let's see, bobmonium, tin, quartz, cobalt, zinc, no. Can we get it from rubites? Rubites, lead, nickel, aluminum, gold, no. Can we get it from steratite, which we are completely out of up here. Steratite. Cobalt tin. No, we can't. Can we get it from sapphire? A little stereotype there that I missed. There's still a little bit of bobmonium up here that it's not being mined, but whatever. Um, how many Mark One mining drills did I just pick up? Electric pole. Nine. Okay. Let's see. I was going to go look at the sapphires. Or is facing the wrong way? I'm down here. Should 
show it in here? No. It's refining. Ugh. You know, I can't tell by looking at that. Is that silver? It's like white. I actually have to go look at the damn things. Curious to see how much sapphire is stored up here anyway. What about this? Yeah, I can get silver out of that. And up here, I cannot get silver out of this. But I can get it out of this stuff. Prontinium. It gives me copper, iron, lead, and silver. So if I went, if I went for this stuff, is that going to provide me with enough lead to replace? See, I get lead out of rubite, so I'm still going to need bobmonium. Hmm. Or I could get silver from advanced lead processing. And I do have a ton of nickel lying around, like nickel ore lying around. Lead oxide. It's just lead and oxygen? Yeah, lead ore and oxygen. Takes seven lead oxide and provides nine lead plates. This takes one. Oh, this provides sulfur dioxide too. That's useful. I need a I'm going to need to make a bunch more oxygen, though. Hmm. Or I could do this. Copper, iron, lead, silver. I mean, I need all of those other things, too. Once I get my Omni Station set up, it wouldn't be too hard to do this. I think I'll probably just do this. And there's already a patch here that I can mine without even having to really build a new rail system. And just set up a station over there and do that. All right. So I think I got to do Bobmonium first, though. And set up the, set up the Omni Station. So, can I see how many logistics robots I have in the system? Up from there, apparently. Uh, Alright, well, we need to get this, this into the network, no matter what we do. Our network currently extends over to there, so let's see... Should be good for now. I'm also going to want a charging pad or two over here.
Oh. Apparently I've built the wrong one. Yeah, charging point. I'm out of batteries. Alright, that's the other thing I was going to put in the network. One of those over there for now. Uh, all right, yeah, let's go put some batteries in the network. Not that we're making a ton of them right now because we don't have a lot of lead. Just another reason to get that new mineral processing online. Yeah, maybe I won't put them in the network. They just... What is this? Alright, I don't mind picking up some electronic circuit boards. I'll just pick up the batteries from over here. Apparently I'm using carbon to power my car now. Yeah, never works. Those robots will find me eventually. trouble is I can't empty these out because we're still running this off of this. It is going down slowly. Alright, we need to empty out. We need to empty these out before we can... Gosh, that's going to take forever. What about these? Okay, that's going to take even longer. Uh... All right. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this part of this apart. We will start... Start transitioning to a robot-driven train station. Uh, these can actually stay there. Okay. Go ahead and throw the sapphire ore in there. Now, do I actually even want to bother putting sapphire on belts? Maybe I don't. Well, it is a convenient way to turn this thing on and off. I don't really mind putting it on belts. All right. Uh, I want some more, I'm gonna want some more requester chests. So six of those should be enough to fully saturate this belt. You know what? Them. Eventually, I'm going to want to start requesting fast inserters. And regular inserters, too, for that matter. But for now, I can just craft them. Okay. Alright, so you guys are going to request... Ephrite ore. Oh, and you're going to request all of it. There. 
Okay. Now, you guys should be enough room for all the active provider chests I'm going to need. Okay, I'm also going to want a bunch of storage chests. Like... Put those hmm. All right. unlikely I'm going to want to use this space for anything else. We can start by putting storage chests in here. These need power? I don't think they do. Okay. So then I want some more active provider chests. Oh, we need to get repair packs being made automatically. Alright, we can do that and put into the system. Uh store active provider chests. to start with. I know we're missing repair packs. Okay, now I'm going to remove you guys so that we can empty these things out. This train is just going to sit here for a while. It's not going to unload evenly anymore either. That's alright. And... So the sapphire ore will get moved to the active provider chest and that or to the requester chest first and then into storage. Hopefully that won't take too long to uh, undo. Let's let me get another some more of those set up down here. Keep them efficiently charging. Okay. All right, let's go make some repair packs. So you'll stop beeping at me. What do we need to make repair packs? We need iron gear wheels and basic circuit boards. That should be pretty easy. Do that up here. You're going to make your gear wheels, you're going to make pair packs.
Okay. And that is in the network, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Should get rid of that mess. Annoying beeping message. Can we see how many robots we have? We're up to 194 logistic robots. Nice. Of course, we're going to need way more than that, but that's a good start. Should be enough to operate this train station, if not super effectively, at least modestly effectively. So these are getting emptied out very slowly. And we're starting to get stuff stored in here. That's a little odd. It must have been stuff that they were bringing me that then got filled up by something else. Oh, and there's... Oh, right. The six electric mining drills that were... Okay, I'll take those and turn them into electric mining drills number two. Those must have been ones that where we ran out of ore. And they got automatically deconstructed. Perfect. Okay. So, while that's doing that, I want to go find some more bobmonium. The bobmonium is orange. I think it's that. See, that's rubite. That is also rubite. All of that rubite too. Steratite. Hmm. Sapphirite down there. More steratite down there. Is that it? It's got that's got to be it. Yeah, so there's a little bit up there. There's a bunch down there. Oh, I think this is bobmonium, and that's rubite. Let's go and see. That would probably be the easiest one to get to. Because that's rubite. When we need more rubite, we'll definitely just grab it from there. All covered with trees. Even see it. Okay, so that's rubite. Brontium, rubite, rubite. Nope, that's not bobonium. That's all rubite. All right, I guess it's the southeast patch then that we'll have to go get. It's a lot longer away. Fortunately, we have Farl. That reminds me, I should set up my Farl to automatically get itself reloaded with stuff. Now that I have robots to do it for me. I think the Farl station is actually out of the network. Oops. Went 
to repair it. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's like way out of the network. We need to put down two. We're gonna bring it back in. Hmm. Where should I put them? I like to not put them in the middle here in case I need this for more train stations, but I I'll need at least one more, but I should be able to run it to the south of that. Might as well make this just cover as much space as possible. How's power looking, by the way? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Robots are very power intensive. Uh, we probably will have to get some more power before we can switch to solar. So we'll have to do one more set of steam engines after all. I was hoping we wouldn't, but looks like we will. Okay. here and three things here okay so I need some requester chests any of those I do okay so you're gonna request rail You're going to request. I don't actually have to do this in separate chests, but whatever. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah, signals. You're going to request rail signals. You're going to request chain rail signals. You're going to request lights. And you're going to request big electric poles. And then uh, actually, I don't want those. I want. You're going to pull all of the wood. You're going to pull all of the stone. Put in there. Okay. Throw those into active provider chests so they get moved down into storage. Which is in here. I think I should probably let that get refilled before I take it out. Uh, so while that's happening, maybe I should go do some more power. How are these looking? Well, we're getting there. Are these complete? These are completely full now. The robots are slowly moving those over. Are these full? These are not anywhere near full. In fact, there's probably enough space in there for these to um, 
for these to empty out into them. Okay. So, that should all get emptied out relatively soon. Let's go get some more power going. Uh, so, I'm going to need to craft... Let's see... 20 steam engines... And... 30 boilers. And does my robots find me? Power's doing okay now that the train station is not being used. These robots are all going to get me stuff. Almost, almost feel like it's a waste, but I don't think it is. Fifteen. Crafting boiler mark threes? No, good. There's another fifteen. Go make some more power. There should still, yeah, this lake is friggin' huge. Should easily be able to do another set of steam engines over here. And this one definitely will be the last set. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. All right, well, you guys have seen me build power before, so I'm going to take a break here. And after I build the power, I will come back and. Hopefully by that point the faro will be filled up and we will go and lay track over to the bobmonium. I'll just go check to make sure that it actually is bobmonium before I build a whole rail network out there. I have made that mistake before. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, everybody out there have a terrific day.